So this option is for those of you that want to digitize your work using the Chromebooks. And this should be accessible to everybody because the district issued out one-to-one -one Chromebooks for everyone. So I'm on my Chromebook here. And essentially the idea is we're just gonna use the webcam camera to take a picture of our work. All right, so to do that, first thing you need to do is you need to find the camera app. So if you click over to the bottom left, you get this menu and you can either do one of two things. Usually if you just open it up a little further, the camera will be there. But if it's further down on a different page, you've got a lot of apps, just type in camera. Now, the camera app will open. Now, before you do anything else, my suggestion would be this. If you press and hold on the camera app down at the bottom in the dock, you can get an additional menu and you can pin this to your dock. So it's always there. So I've already pinned mine, so it doesn't have that option. But if this is your first time, you just press and hold right here and then you can pin this so you don't have to go searching for it. Now, to take the picture, first thing, good lighting. Don't just take it just wherever or, you know, someplace. I had a few students last year, their room was really dark and they would just take the picture. Didn't do me any good because I couldn't see the work. You know, if I just wanted to see a piece of paper on a screen, they could have shot anything. But what I wanted to be able to see was their written work on their assignments so I could kind of spot check things here and there. Or maybe it was a test and the test told you to show your work and I would need to actually evaluate the work. All right. So first thing is to have good lighting. Uh, you'll play around with this depending on your situation, but probably the best thing is that you want lighting pointing at you from behind your computer. I know this is hard to see, but imagine, you know, I'm facing my computer right now, so I need my light coming from the other direction. I need the light shining at me, okay, this direction. So that way, when I hold up my document, the document's all well lit. Now, second thing is this, is if possible, maybe a clipboard or a book, it's good to hold the document flat. The reason for that is every so often I get somebody turn something in and the way they held it up was something like this, where it's all kind of crinkled and folded and really didn't give us a good image. Okay. And you, we got to get as good an image with these cameras as possible because Chromebook cameras are meant to do video conferencing, not necessarily high resolution picture taking. So they're their cameras are a lot more low resolution than like a cell phone, for example. Now, the next thing is I would hold it sideways. I know that's kind of weird to think about, but it's because I can fit more of it onto the screen. If I hold it vertically like this, I have to stand back a little bit. And so I'm not getting as close up a picture as I want. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold it like this and as close up to the camera as we can to get all the work. And then the easiest way to do it, I found, is not to use the screen but to use the space bar on the keyboard. All right, and I just took my shot. All right, so now where that picture goes is to your downloads folder. So let's close out the camera. And same thing, what we'll wanna do is go to the bottom left here. And if you type in downloads, you get this, downloads files. And same thing, since it always goes to there, what I would do is down here in the dock, I would press and hold this icon, the one with the, the blue circle on the white folder, and I would pin it. And again, mine's already pinned, but you can do that. And so it's always there and you don't have to go searching for it every time. All right. But now I've got my downloads folder up, so you can see here on the screen. And the nice thing is if you've got this column checked off or not checked off, but organized date modified and you click on it with the arrow pointing down, the most recent picture will appear on top. Okay, so the minute you're in downloads folder, go to date modified, click on it. So this arrow points downward so that your most recent picture is here up top. Now, next thing I would do is I would rename it. So I'm going to select it. And then up here with these three dots in the upper right corner, I'm going to click there and I'm going to do rename. And so probably to stay organized, I'm going to put the date. Okay, I'm using dots rather than slashes because the, the computer doesn't like the slashes. It's, it's part of programming language, so it doesn't like it in titles. Uh, and maybe this is chapter, oops, chapter 2.2 notes. All right, enter. All right, now I'm going to open it up. And there's my picture. As close in as I can get it and as good a quality as we can get it. But it's sideways. So now here's what we do. What we're then gonna do is we're gonna click on the edit tool, which is this pencil tool. And then down here, we get all these tools we can use. I'm gonna use one of these rotate ones. So in this case, the way mine's facing, I'm gonna rotate it counterclockwise. 
So it looks like that. And then if need be, what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna crop out any excess stuff that showed up on the picture. So maybe you've got some background of your, you know, the room you're in or things like that. So what I can do is I can use the crop tool and the crop tool is this one right here, uh, second one from the left. And you basically just stretch out the corners of it so you just get the parts that you want. And you can kind of neaten things up a little bit. And I'm trying to do this with my finger on the screen. It's probably better if I do that, this with the mouse. Okay, and there we go. I click done. And it'll save that way automatically. So now anytime I go back to that document, it's, it's nice and as clear as I can get it using the Chromebook camera. And my teacher can look at it, analyze my work, maybe zoom in a little bit to see what I'm doing. And I can submit that or do whatever I need to. Save it in my Google Drive as my digital notebook or whatever your teacher might have to do with it. All right, so this is a particular option to just use the camera and the Chromebook to take nice quality pictures that your teacher can actually zoom in and see the work.